The very first beta of Oxygen OS 13 has arrived and I just want to tell you this. Meet Color OS 13. I say this because first, Oxygen OS 13 looks exactly like the leaked Color OS 13 update. Second, Oxygen OS is even more Color OS like than before. Now, I'm going to show you this new update, but let me tell you that there's one good thing about Oxygen OS 13 that I'll talk about in the end. So this is the new Oxygen OS 13 beta running on the OnePlus 10 Pro and I'll talk about the new features, but let's start with the UI changes here. The biggest change I've noticed is in the notification center quick settings. There are bigger icons now and you can see the bigger tiles for Wi-Fi, mobile data and music controls. The settings icon and the option to edit tiles is also moved to the top, which I'm not a big fan of because it's harder to access. The settings page also has these newer icons that have more colors and some of the settings pages have also changed. The personalization page is now wallpaper and style and it has this new match wallpaper icons option, which is basically themed icons from Android 12 and 13. It looks cool though. Apart from that, the battery page has a tweaked UI. You can now search for apps in notification settings, which is actually a good change. Plus all of the pages now have these rounded boxes for different options, which looks clean. Moving to the home screen, you can now increase the size of the folders by holding them and pressing enlarge. This is very similar to nothing launches folders. Now, thanks to these bigger folders, you can open apps quickly from the folders like this. Now, the reason why I said there's more color OS than before is first, a lot of OnePlus elements are gone. For example, here's the new shelf and I think it looks better with the more rounded widgets and the plus button right here to add more widgets. However, you can notice that the big never settle text is gone. I guess they've settled now. Also, remember the cool Easter egg in the Oxygen OS calculator app where you type 1 plus is equal to and you get this. It's cool, but it's gone in Oxygen OS 13. Doing this in the calculator app does absolutely nothing. The second reason why Oxygen OS 13 is even more like ColorOS is that a lot of older ColorOS features have finally made their way to Oxygen OS. This is the special features page on Oxygen OS 13 compared to Oxygen OS 12. And you can see that there are so many features now. All of them are actually from ColorOS 12.1. There's split screen where you can do a three finger swipe up to enter split screen mode. There's floating windows support now in Oxygen OS. And I like that floating windows now even show up in the recent screen. There's also ColorOS sidebar, which you can use to launch apps in a floating window quickly. There's also a new kid space with its own home screen and own set of apps that you can choose for your kids. There are also more color options for the theme in the wallpapers and style page. There's also wallpaper color picking. Now, the interesting thing is that these options have been present in ColorOS 12.1 on Oppo phones, but it's new in Oxygen OS 13. Now, there's more. Here's how the search in app drawer worked in Oxygen OS 12, and here's how the search works in Oxygen OS 13. Yes, it takes you to a whole new separate search page. There are also new always on display options like custom patterns, text, text and image, emoji. And you know what, these are actually, again, all older color OS features. Now the new here is supposed to be third party integration in always on display. Swiggy, Zomato and Spotify are supposed to show info in AOD, but that's not live yet. The Oxygen OS Photos app is gone too. It is now replaced by the gallery app from color OS because obviously. Now, apart from all of the ColorOS features, Oxygen OS 13 does bring a few new features like a more secure private safe, new security features, spatial audio support for some devices, a new gaming engine. But the point is, all of these features should also be part of ColorOS 13. Look, it's time to accept that Oxygen OS is dead. I know, OnePlus promised that Oxygen OS 13 will retain its unique visual design. But right now, in the first beta, I don't see that. I mean, instead of going away from ColorOS, Oxygen OS 13 is basically full-fledged ColorOS. It brings all of the ColorOS 12.1 features, and I think the ColorOS 13 UI will also be pretty much the same. Honestly, there's nothing new. Yes, this is the first beta. So some new features might arrive in the later versions, but yeah, right now it's all very familiar. See, I don't care anymore if it's ColorOS, especially because there's nothing wrong with ColorOS, but I just hope that when Oxygen OS 13 arrives in stable form, it is a bug-free and fast and smooth update. I mean, the one good thing that I mentioned at the start is that Oxygen OS 13 does feel a bit smoother in terms of animations and it seems very snappy and fast. Plus all the color OS features, it brings a lot of them are actually useful features that I like on Oppo and Realme phones. So even though I have mixed feelings around Oxygen OS 13, I just want to move on and accept that this is what Oxygen OS is going to be like. What do you guys think of this new Oxygen OS update? Is this what you were expecting? Comment down below. Also, give this video a like and share this video with OnePlus fans and users. And yeah, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Chinese smartphone makers like Xiaomi or Realme can come to a lot of problems because according to a latest report by Bloomberg, India...